Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Parker, welcome back to once again to another COD Mobile video today. I hope everyone is doing well. Now for today's video, we're going to be talking about a couple things here. First off, the brand new Season 7 beta release date. Secondly, the new release date for the Poltergeist class. And then finally, this brand new Lucky Draw. So if you guys end up enjoying today's video, smacking a like on it would be awesome. As well as if you guys are new, be sure to go and sub if with notifications on. But without further ado, we might as well go and jump right into it here. So if you guys recall back to the May 14th community update, COD Mobile went and said this in regards to a potential public test server. They said, for the last two months, we've done a public test server for the global version of Call of Duty Mobile before each major in-game update. However, for this next update coming in June, we have no current plans to implement a public test server. We utilize these public test servers to help find bugs and to see how certain features actually hold up when being used by tens of thousands of players. But this time around, we have a bit longer before our release and the test server is not needed. You may still see the test server in other regions like Arena, but we just ask that you keep in mind any information coming out of that server is not official to us until we announce it through these updates in game through press releases or through our social media channels now when that was made on the community update right away i kind of got that feeling of okay even though we're not going to be getting it for the global version of the game here i really do have a strong feeling we're going to go and get it definitely for the Garena version here and yes ladies and gentlemen it is indeed confirmed that we are going to be getting a season 7 test server for the Garena version of this game. Now, I do want to give a huge shout out to Murder Blast on Twitter. That's where I went and got this screenshot from uh, that goes over the whole dialogue. I'm pretty sure this was initially a post either on Facebook or on Instagram for one of those Garena, you know, versions of the games, their social media over there. But this is uh, the translation of it. So they say thousands of calls, Android experience service is coming. Wait for so long until finally let me experience serving it. In addition to being able to experience the latest content of the game, there is also a lot of COD points and fantasy guns for free. The following cue cards are open, experience serving open hours, 520 to 6 1. So that's going to be from May 20th, which is actually tomorrow, all the way up until June 1st here. So that's kind of interesting. It kind of begs the question of a couple things here. So, first off, I know a lot of people are going to be like, hold up, there's going to be lots of COD points and legendary guns for free. Now, you might have to go and hold your horses there for a second because it's not like you're going to be able to go and transfer COD points or transfer these legendary weapons from the test server to your main account. That's not going to go and happen. So yes, you will probably be able to go and unlock a hundred thousand COD points or whatever and be able to go and buy whatever legendary weapons you want, but you won't be able to go and from there be able to go and transfer it to your main account, unfortunately. So I felt like I should go and clarify that fact as well as when they say from May 20th all the way up until June 1st. That's when this whole test server is going to be open for. And I'm assuming all throughout the next couple of days or so, we're going to be receiving little updates within the test server itself, probably adding in content every other few days. And it's pretty exciting, dude, because literally tomorrow, that's when we're going to go and experience the test server here. I'm going to be sure to go and make plenty of videos in regards to this so if you guys have not already done so be sure to go and sub with notifications on i'm probably going to be uploading what like three or four videos tomorrow just in regards to all the new content that we're going to be getting because i'm assuming we're going to be getting a new map we're going to be getting some new weapons here potentially maybe a new operator skill i don't know probably a new kill streak because i know that the cluster as well as ah, i'm forgetting what it's called it's called like the lightning strike i know that those were some potential kill streaks that were teased so maybe we can go and see those in the test server and then most importantly in regards to the battle royale i'm assuming we will indeed get the new map locations here so that's going to be absolutely phenomenal man i'm really looking forward to it and i hope you guys will actually get a blast out of the whole thing as well now i know the main question a lot of people are going to be having right now is going to be Parker, how will I be able to go and play on this test server? So there is a few things that you guys do have to understand. Since this is only for the green version of the game, you will have to go and play with the VPN. So that's going to be a factor. Secondly, this is only going to be for Android devices. You won't be able to go and use an iPhone. So that's a pretty big factor within itself as well. 
But uh, yeah, I think that really is about it. There is probably going to be a link that's going to be floating around, whether or not it's on like a subreddit that COD Mobile might have for the green version of the game. But I will go and say this. I will try my best to go and have that link on my Twitter. So if you guys have not already followed me on Twitter, be sure to go and do so at Parker the Slayer. Link will be down below in the description for you guys to go and do so. I will try my best to go and post a link there, but we might as well go and continue on here. So now going on to the next topic, here which is also a thing that i'm very invested in and that's this brand new battle royale class that we can go and expect called the poltergeist class and it's funny because on a stream on sunday this was before this article went and came out i was even saying you know what i have a feeling the poltergeist class is going to be dropping this week rather than next week they did say in that whole roadmap for season six that they're planning on going and dropping poltergeist in late may and i don't know it could have been this week or next week but thankfully poltergeist is confirmed to be coming out this week now activision itself on their twitter went and made a little blog post here in which they talk about warzone modern warfare and then thankfully for us here for this video call of duty mobile and this is what they have to go and say so they say earn a new battle royale class the poltergeist through the poltergeist challenge later this week earn the cordite and a seasonal mission and more as once upon a time in rust continues in call of duty mobile cloak yourself from your enemies with the newest battle royale class poltergeist its two abilities active camo and void walker focus in on using stealth to ultimately position yourself to take down your opponent head to the events tab on may 21st to view all the objectives and complete them to earn the poltergeist for battle royale okay very interesting stuff here dude so may 21st is when we're gonna go and expect the brand new poltergeist class here i just want to go and say this that ladies and gentlemen yes i am going to be using this brand new class live here on stream over on park of the slayer live so if you guys have not already subbed to that channel i would definitely recommend you to go and do so because using this class it should be so much fun man i've been waiting for this ever since that season six test server in which i got to get my hands on it for the very first time and this is going to be a very similar thing like what you had to go and do with the cordite in which there is going to be a poltergeist challenge as they went and said here so i don't know if it's going to be as big of a grind as like what the cordite was because the cordite that took a couple hours man in order to go and unlock that weapon and i'm hoping that's not the case with the poltergeist here i'm hoping okay at max you only have to play five games of br here and you'll be able to go and get it but then again still that's going to be like two hours in terms of a grind in order to go and unlock this here now for moving on to the final topic of today's video that's in regards to this brand new lucky draw i'm assuming we can go and expect it dropping this thursday but you guys are seeing the promotional image on screen right now and it is indeed the artery and type 25 bloody vengeance screenshot here i'm pretty sure if i'm not mistaken because i did make a video on this about a week ago and if you guys are interested in going and checking it out you can feel free to go and do so because i have the whole lucky draw itself all the items that are featured in it there's artery and her movement in there as well as well as like the animation going on with the type 25 bloody vengeance so i would definitely recommend if you guys have not already done so to go and check out that video i'm pretty sure it's called something along the lines of like two new lucky draws that we can go and expect in this season but yeah, man, Artery looking really awesome. I would really like to know in the comment section down below where this character comes from. Because if I'm not mistaken, this could be like a Modern Warfare character from the brand new Modern Warfare game that came out. But who knows? I could be wrong because I really have no idea who this character is. But Type 25, Bloody Vengeance. Just the red active camo that I saw a week ago in that video that I made. It actually looked pretty awesome in my opinion. But unfortunately i'm probably not going to be participating in this because i'm not a really big fan of lucky draws but uh yeah ladies and gentlemen plenty of exciting stuff i'm so hyped up about this brand new test server that we can go and expect tomorrow and i would love to know your guys's predictions in the comment section down below here do you guys believe we are indeed going to be getting a new map here do you guys believe that they will be adding in the new sections of the br map do you think we're going to be getting a new weapon a new kill streak because this is going to be my 
Final prediction here. I believe, yes, we will be getting a new kill streak. I believe we will indeed be getting a new multiplayer map. I do believe we will be getting those new sections of the Battle Royale. And I think that's going to be pretty much about it. So what, like three new things there? I don't know if we're going to be getting a new weapon, but... Nevertheless, dude, it should be a lot of fun. Like I said, be sure to go and sub with notifications so you guys don't miss out on that. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Parker. Hopefully, guys, will have a fantastic rest of your day today. And I guess I'll talk to you guys in the next video.